What's Gucci with your earth signs? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Moon. Um, today I've got a collective message for the earth signs. I'm pretty sure I said that, but just confirming this is earth signs. Um, this may resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. It's also timeless, so it could resonate whenever you're seeing this. So take a resonance, leave a dozen, don't shoot the messenger, and let's get into it. This one feels quite specific so far from what I have, but I feel like there's going to be multiple messages in here for you guys. So I'm actually picking up on a on a heartbreak situation, okay? I can feel a pulling on my left. That's interesting because that's exactly what I felt. So whoever this message is for, there's someone that is kind of you may feel like a pulling on your energy specifically you may feel um it around the left side of your body kind of around the left shoulder on the back um or you may feel pulling around your sacral chakra root chakra or solar plexus as well okay this could also be happening in the heart space basically or all your chakras but specifically they're they're pointing out on the back left shoulder okay so this is related to some kind of heartbreak situation um, this message is really specific, so, you know, don't force it to fit. Um, I feel like I'm talking to someone who works online, okay? You, you could be your business, there's something about what you do online. I don't know if you have a business or if you work for a company, but there's something about what you're doing online, um, or the work that you do, where you use technology, okay, and it's, you're going through some kind of transformation. This could be in your career, um, but the thing is, you are sitting on a lot of gold right now, okay? You may be called to go through some big changes or make some big changes when it comes to your work, your career, or whatever you're doing online, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, you're sitting on a gold mine right now, okay? I don't know if you're aware of it or if you're not, but I do see that there's something that's been preventing you from... Uh, Look, there's a red flag here that I have to point out for someone today, 222, two, two, just as I said that. And this is about a connection in your life, right? They were showing me that someone is siphoning from whoever I'm picking up on. Um, I'm hearing the names Sarah, Sarah. I'm also hearing the name Bree. Okay, there's a name I'm hearing, it's kind of sounds a little bit like Muhammad, but I don't know, that may be like the person you're dealing with, um, or there's the letter M is significant. Adrian, right? Um, the A, A names, this, this A letter is significant. I'm also hearing Tammy. Okay, look, if any more names come out, I'll say them out, okay? But this message, like, they want it to be very specific because of who it's for. And this is the thing. You're dealing with someone right now that you are kind of, I don't know if you're together or, you know, in separation, but it is, it's taking a toll on your heart. Now, it's not just that either. Um, this person is, like, draining. It's like they have a, a cord. And it's it's pulling from your energy okay now this is someone that would have given you a gift in the past okay now whatever this person gave you it they may have done some kind of magic on it okay but all I know is that there's a gift that was given to you that is this it's been drawing energy from you okay it's been lowering your frequency it's been drawing your life force out energy out of you so yeah whoever this person is they're a big freaking red, red flag okay sorry to say it so loud and <laughs> a bit forceful but this is what's going on okay and at the same time whoever this person is that you're dealing with they have some kind of secret addiction and they're also very secretly inspired by you now, you may know about this person's addiction and it may just be a secret to, you know, the people around them and all that, right? Okay, now, there's a whole bunch of gold that is trying to unlock in your life, okay? And this this is going to come after you undergo some kind of transformation. But part of this transformation 
is going to entail you definitely identifying who the F is pulling on your energy, okay? Because all I know is there's an item that you are holding on to that is not serving you. And it was given to you by somebody that broke your heart, okay? Now, yeah, whoever this person is, the, the gift, right? So I'm getting, you could either cleanse this gift, this item, if it's something that you really love and cherish or like really like, you got to cleanse this item. And I feel like you should bury it underground. If it's something valuable, maybe put it in a little like goiza, boiza bag and put it under the ground, like bury it for a couple of days so that the energy can be cleared and transmuted into the earth. But if that's not the case, um, if you, oh, sorry, if you don't want to bury it, you have to get rid of this item, okay? Because this item, it's getting in the way of the transformation that you're going under when it comes to your career, okay? There's something you're being called to do right now, um, maybe called to take action. Now, it's like many, many, many little transformations that lead to one big transformation, okay? And you may have had travel plans with this person that is, you know, you've, you've, look at this picture, right? It's like you've, they've broken your heart. You've, you've bandaged it all up, right? Let's, let's just say that a triangle trying to squeeze through a circle. He tried to cut me so I'd fit, but doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that hit too close to home? Doesn't that make you shiver the way things could have gone? And doesn't it feel peculiar when everyone wants a little more? So that I do remember to never go that far. Would you leave me with a scar? Right, this person, they've scarred your heart, okay? But I tell you what. Just like scars on the body, just like stretch marks on the body, it makes you beautiful, okay? There's nothing wrong with you for going through this heartbreak because I feel like there could be a bit of shame or guilt associated with this painful, heart-wrenching situation that some of you are in. Now, I just feel like whatever's going on, this person isn't giving you what you need. They aren't treating you the right way. You know, maybe they come in for a few days and act right. And then, they, and then they don't be acting right, right? Even if this person is not talking to you right now, there's something that they gave you, okay? And this may have even been some kind of recreational D-R-U-G, okay? Um, I, they're showing me it could be a jewelry item for some of you. For some of you, this is a book that this person gave you, right? They, and they've signed it. Right, it could be a rock for some of you as well. Now, listen to me, gang. This could be a crystal. This could be a rock. There's something this person gave you, okay? Whoever the fuck this person is, I don't know why I feel so angry. I mean, I actually don't feel angry, but I feel like the ancestors are upset at whatever's going on here because this person, they may be like a closet, closet what, witch warlock, um, but there's energy on this item that could very well, I don't feel like it's effed anything up yet, but I feel like there's energy in this item that could really interfere with this gold mine that you're sitting on, okay? Now, you may have just gone through a breakup with this person, okay? You may have just friend zoned this person. Whatever happened, this is a major red flag in your environment, okay? Now, if you could see the energy um, of like what this item is doing in, in your home, in your place, on your body, if you're wearing it, you would see it's like a, it's like a black hole and it's sucking energy. Okay. It's literally sucking energy from you and it's distorting the energy in your environment. Okay. And it's because whoever this person is that gave it to you, they have a secret addiction, right? And there's entities attached to them that has been transferred to this item, okay? So you gotta be cautious. This is a big warning for someone. And 
This is about your financial abundance because I feel like there's an overflow coming in for you. I feel like, you know, you know, some people might say, some people say money don't grow on trees, but I tell you the transformation you're about to go through, the gold that you're sitting on, it's gonna, it's gonna be like money grows on trees for you, okay? But you also are a soul that has um, a part of your mission or a part of what's coming up for you soon is that you're going to be traveling. Now, if you don't remove this red flag item from your, from your home, from your person, or go and cleanse this thing, it, it has the potential to actually disrupt the natural flow of events that are going to occur for you. So this isn't to fear monger, all right? But I, I'm also getting that this, this person, like whoever they are, they are pulling on your energy. They're pulling on your heart space, right, from the back. So it's like maybe they don't tell you directly that they have feelings for you, um, but they are trying to manifest you. Like they're trying to manifest your love, but they're coming in through the back door. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's very interesting. This person's a bit like something's inverted here, okay? And the energy attached to this item is not going to serve you moving forward. So we're gonna take a deeper look into you know all this energy. Um, but yeah, there's something that you're gonna be called somewhere you're gonna be called to travel in the near future as well. And if you don't remove this item. Look, I ain't trying to be too superstitious, but <laughs> I'm being obedient to the message because you will feel it, right? This could be an ex-girlfriend for some of you. This could be an ex-boyfriend for some of you, okay? feels like someone's ancestors are oh, coming in for this one, okay? This could even be an item from a brother. Um, yeah, from a brother or from some kind of men's group, okay? Um someone you considered a friend in the past okay like i mean like it feels like this message is just straight from god straight from the universe that's what it feels like today and yeah god is god and the universe is going to bring you a very prosperous period in your life okay it's it's a very abundant season that you're stepping into this is something that it's going to take time to play out, obviously, one, two, three, but you are going to be divinely guided to take certain steps on your journey, right? You're being led the right way. You're being shown the way. And if you don't feel like you're being shown the way right now, the path will become clear to you, especially once you remove this item, okay? Like you can still have some kind of connection with this person is what I'm sensing, but the item that they gave you, right? So say, for example, this person gave you a, a necklace, and it broke off you, right? But you still kept the necklace. This is what I mean. Your energy already rejected the energy on this item. And it's like you're keeping the item. Okay. So you have to remove the item. <laughs> um, you know, if you want, but if, if you care about the item so much, you've got to go and cleanse it. Okay. And I mean, proper cleanse it. Like, take it to the ocean, maybe bury it under the sand for a couple of hours. Like, I'm serious because you have this journey that, that God has specifically designed for you, okay? This is a journey of with great success in it, okay? This is your future we're talking about. There's so much, so much money. Like, I feel like this is more money than you can spend, more than you need, more than you want. All right? Like, and it just keeps coming and it just keeps dropping right you notice how this tree is just dropping money like wow and you're meant to be paying for a flight or catching a flight somewhere right but this red flag with this item this gift that was given to you it's got to go okay it's something that you know look like you don't even see <clears throat> i don't know why but i feel real frustrated doing this and i feel like the person you're dealing with has anger issues as well I just felt a massive tug on my solar plate I'm on, on my um sacral chakra just then right at the front so um yeah you may not even realize the dark energy that's attached to this item okay it's it's hidden right because it's within the it's in the in-between realms you know what I'm saying so if you could see it you would see you would see what I'm saying you'll see what I'm saying it's like a black hole like something is this item is like sucking energy and it could be in a way like transferring your 
your, I want to say like destiny or your, your energy to the, the, the entity that this person carries. All right, so every day, you got to get rid of this gang. You got to get rid of this. Right, your ancestors are waiting for you to remove this. You may have, this message is a big confirmation because you may have already felt like there's something off about a particular item. Okay. Whoever this person is that gave it to you, like, who knows? It could even be a neighbor. It could be anybody. Um, but yeah, if you want to cleanse it, you could also use music. You could also use, like, high vibrational frequencies. Bare minimum, 5 to 8 hertz. Okay. To cleanse the energy off of this, it will remove any negative energy that's sticking around the item. But basically, this person is like, it's like this thing is, like, implanted like I really ain't trying to get no one all sketchy but it's like there's an item planted in your home that you've oh my crown that you've just got sitting there and it is influencing the energy in your environment and it could be affecting your subconscious as well Right, because subconsciously you may have been picking up something about this person you were dealing with. I'm telling you, you may have been picking up something about this person you were dealing with, and your higher self knows already. Like something's off. You got psychic gifts, okay? You got to trust in your psychic gifts. Whatever this, whatever this thing is, because something tells me that you know this. Like you're sensing this. And straight up, you know, this could be from somebody that is some kind of cult leader. Look what it says there. Someone highly manipulative and persuasive gets people to follow their own personal agendas and ideologies, a thirst for control. Okay, this could even be the demon, you know, that wants control. Um, but yeah, this person, they are with a group associated with some kind of group. They may have pulled you into some kind of group. But there's some addiction here that this person has that causes them chaos. It causes them confusion, all right? However you're associated with this person, you just need to realize that they have come to teach you what it means when someone drains your energy or implants something into your environment that doesn't serve you, okay? So whenever you get a gift from anybody, you should always check in with your higher self. If your gifts aren't as like, strong, um, you know, because some people can feel it straight away. But, yeah. If you feel, see, see, like, you may be feeling a little bit confused and, like, chaotic as well. Since this item has been in your home. All right? Or even in your vehicle is what they're showing me. Okay, this could even be something as small as a like a, a air freshener in the car, all right? But it's the freaking energy on it. It's the person's energy that touched it, all right? Obviously, the person that you're dealing with is no good for you. <laughs> but, um, you know, you, yeah, there's karmic lessons tied here, okay? It's like you have a connection with a karmic. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's the incubus succubus I could feel. Right, this person could be pulling on your sexual energy as well. They may not be very, um, they may not be so concealed about their sexual attraction to you, um, for some of you. But you may notice that whoever this individual is that gave you this item, you may notice that your sexual energy feels like it's um, being drained. So, yeah, say for example, you're thinking of this person or you feel them thinking of you, and then your sacral chakra starts getting pulled on, right? And you feel like tug, 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 tug. This is a clear sign that this person has an incubus or a succubus on them that is drawing energy off of you, okay? Um, and obviously, you're being called to create something right now. You're being called to... Uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at what this, what this is going on with your career. Oh my gosh, we just got star power. You're being called to use your star power, right? Some of you are going to be placed in the spotlight here, right? You've got something here going on where you're going to liberate other people with your knowledge, with your expertise, 
with your guidance, with your wisdom, or whatever it is that you do, you're here to almost to sh shift the game. You're here to change the game up, okay? You've had a lot of divine downloads. You're going to continue receiving a lot of divine downloads. But um, yeah, you are you are someone, for some of you, you're meant to be placed in the spotlight to draw people toward you so that they can he receive the healing energy and the healing words and the wisdom that you have. All right? Some of you, you are just a star seed. And even if you don't, you know, like post videos or something and you just work online, the energy that you have to offer, you're going to see. Like there's something divine happening in your career right now, okay? <laughs> like you're going to see. And yeah, you may have this like kind of cult or this cultish kind of person that is... Kind of stalking your energy. Um, some of you could be dealing with gang stalking. Yeah, gang stalking in the astral as well. Um, you know, so say for example you're doing something. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just say this for the sake of it. So if someone's doing witchcraft on you, this is one of the ways you can tell, especially if they're doing it in the astrals, right? Or they're gang stalking you in the astrals. So say, for example, you wake up one day and you, this is, so say you, you were doing something last night or doing something the day before and you wake up the next day and you can see, it's like you're watching yourself in your own body um, like remote viewing your own self and it looks like in a fishbowl kind of effect, right? This is a sign that someone is Like your higher self is showing you that someone is watching and or remote viewing over you um, To keep tabs on you. Okay, another sign that someone's doing witchcraft is that you wake up Within your dream just like inception and then you wake up in another you wake up in the dream again thinking that you just you just you just lived out the whole day, right? And then you wake up again in the dream, wake up. Like there's many layers to you waking up. It's like you, you don't actually wake up. It's like you have to wake up four times before you actually wake up um, into this realm. Isn't that, it's, it's such a trip. I'm not even going to go there. Like, <laughs> But yeah, um, it'll feel like that. And that's how you'll know someone is doing, you know, witchcraft or spell work on you. Um, you know, and you may have flashes of that person being around a particular person while you keep waking up, right? So this is what I mean. You may be having signs that someone is stalking you or you may be seeing shadow figures kind of stalking you. Um, you may be noticing, you may be noticing like dark energies. You may be seeing shadow figures. You may be seeing like little parasitic energies. Um, yeah, this is a sign that y you need to clear the energy in your home and remove this item, okay? <laughs> like. Um, so yeah, for some of you, this person is like, could betray you under the under the name of a friendship, under the guise of a friendship, right? Pretend to be loyal, pretend to be supportive, but is actually plotting behind your back. You know, this person could, be, could have been envious of you and you may not have known that, right? But you have to trust the energy. This is the thing. For some of you, this, this motherfucker is literally like secretly inspired by you, okay? But they also have a very... Um, hidden addiction okay let's see if we can find out what this addiction is mm. right this could even be something you made with this person ah oh, this secret addiction do you know what it feels like this person is just drawn to false lights <laughs> they're drawn to false people um they have a lot of fake sh stuff around them okay i know there's something going on with this person's shadow side yeah you know what's weird this person may have a secret addiction to to divination okay they could have a secret addiction to to readers um tarot you know, which means that they're, they're definitely lacking discernment, right? There's a difference between seeking guidance from a reader and then actually having an addiction, right? Um, to a dopamine hit, you know? Um, because, yeah. 
Yeah, this person's got an addiction to people that give them bad advice too, like fake gurus. So they, they have really poor discernment. <laughs> like, like you think it resonates, gang. Right? They do. They take the bait. Like this person could be very naive in some ways. Um, the, the one that gave you the gift. All right? So if you don't be cautious, this enemy, this hidden enemy, this enemy could create karmic debt for you. So you have to just... You know, you're getting the message like, I feel drained just doing this message. I, I feel like I'm being drained. And you may feel like you're being <laughs> drained because of this item. Trust me when I say this message did not resonate with me at all. So I know that this is a message for someone in the collective today that is an air sign. Okay. Look, you use, on a soul level, you are someone very powerful. You, you know how to use your energy f for good. Okay, and I feel like some of you, the way that you express yourself is is enough to like literally like gather groups of people and just like, it's like bringing people into a spaceship and then going up, like beaming them up, Scotty. Like, <laughs> it's like that you have that impact. Okay. And this person could be jealous of that. Look, I hate you and psychic attack. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. And I don't know why, but this person, they have some serious fucking anger issues, man. Like, <laughs> like, wow, the energy coming through me. This person has serious anger issues. And you're an empath, all right? I'm literally here confirming what's already going on in your subconscious mind today. I really hope this message finds who it's for. Let's see if we can find out any more in this love situation. If it's this is romantic, okay, you could be a bit undecided about this person right now. Look at that. See, all over the place and confused. Chaos and confusion. That's what this item is doing, right? If anything is causing chaos and confusion in your life, it's not for you, all right? Unless it's literally triggering growth in you, it's not for you, okay? Something tells me that, yeah, you got a contract here with somebody, but... You have free will, right? You can burn up anything at any time. You just hold the contract up in your mind. You bring it up. You ask your guides. And you burn it, right? You use fire to transmute. That's what fire is for. Um, you know, you guys, this is what I mean. Like, you could be so freaking confused because of this item that you don't even realize you got, like, all these other people that want to date you, all these other suitors that could be about to approach you, that want to approach you. Okay, meanwhile, you're dealing with somebody that is, like, very fake. Okay, they're attracted to fake people, man. Like, this person's fake as fuck. They like fake, right? They like to hear whatever they want to hear that makes them feel better in the moment. Okay? Real recognizes real. You are a real person. You are really genuine. You are really authentic. You are a real lover. Okay? You are really empathic. And this person, like, they, they play on that. Okay? They've been hiding the truth from you. In some what it's at some point maybe right now right because they want to pull energy off you they do they want to suck energy off you right this may even be someone you had a one night stand with or slept with a couple of times right so I was feeling that um, pulling on the sacral chakra for some of you this could just be someone you're just having fun with all right or you were just having fun with and flirting with and playing around with right But you got to deny access here, okay? you got to deny access to this entity <laughs> just, just by removing whatever the item is. And cleanse your home, cleanse your energy. Please clear it. Earth signs, right? Because it's garbage. Whatever that, whatever the freaking item is, it's actually garbage. Like if you could see the energy on it, you'd see it's just, it's just absolute shit, right? And I feel like for some of you, your ancestors have done the hard work for you. They've got the trash to take itself out. They, they got this person to remove themselves from your life, okay? That's what's going on, whether you realize it or not. All right, but you gotta you gotta chuck the the yeah you gotta chuck this trash out. Whatever this item is, it's trash. Okay, it's trash. It's trash. All right. If this is photos as well that you need to delete of an ex, delete them because it's actually affecting your energy. I'm dead serious, gang. You take this out, resonates. I hope it finds what's for because I know if if you see this and it's for you, you you've kind of been wondering this. Okay. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if it resonated. And peace to the cosmic chai.